Hello and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's Daughter. Um, like you can see, we had um, a little change of attire. Yeah, look at this. So this apparently is a priest gone and hat, um, indicating that perhaps um, a different case in the future is going to be somewhere in a church or something, or whatever. Priests go in their free time. So, do we have something else that we can maybe look at? I don't think so. Pay a visit to Lord Mars. Okay, I can do that. Bye. It's wonderful to have Kate. Home. Yes, I know. I know. Where is she anyway? Go. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, Mr. Holmes. I'll take care of everything. Okay. There we go. Don't mind me. So, I'm going to be pretty sure that it is somewhere there is a shoe polishing mini game. What can I do for you, Mr. Holmes? Nothing at the moment. So, shoe polishing mini game. It's maybe something that is going to occur in the future again. So, no, not that guy. Somewhere there has to be a shoe polisher that can teach me how to shoe polish. No, only newspaper boys. Oh, look at that! Dancing elephant. Strange, but it makes me think of Mycroft. Uh, Mycroft is probably the brother, and he is insulting his physique. All right. So where is the, the shoe polishing guy? I want to learn how to shoe polish. All right, it's great voice acting. Uh, first. Wait, that can't be. That can't be where I need to be, right? No, I went the wrong way. Where did the last name Marsh come from, anyway? Marsh is. Did, did they come from a family who, who lived in a marsh or something? Were they born in Marsh? Holmes, about Caitlin. Yes? Oh? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to... to tell her? Is she adopted? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes, you were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know, Watson. Is that clear? Because we were... It won't and can't happen. Because we were so emotionally attached to her. Like you can clearly see from the previous games and the times she is mentioned in um, literature of Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Let's get inside. Yes, let's. Let's get los. Like the Germans say it. Uh, come in, please. I will come in. Don't tell me what to do. Well, this is a busy gallery. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good Did day. Did you just smoke a, a my pot? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Doctor Watson. Oh, look! We first have to look at them. We first have to profile them. Very fast. Red eyes. Feel some well or lack of sleep. I don't know. Lack of sleep. Ugh. Gold ring, man of wealth. Got it. Blanket. Oh no, he's ill, probably. So then the other thing is also. Uh, <sighs> quickly, quickly. Painkillers. Strong painkillers, yeah. Looks like he is sick. Lord Mars, personal assistant. Uh, looks like an assistant kind of thing. Embroidered. Yeah, member of a hunting club. Stethoscope, physician, physician, 
and he feels unwell. Validate. Did we do it correctly? Or will we never know? I'm pretty sure we did it correctly. Ruben Fisher is a young man of 25 and already a confident physician. He is well educated, mannered and a member of a hunting club. His clothes indicate that he is fin financially wealthy. Ruben Fisher is not only a physician, he is also Lord Marsh's personal assistant. Lord Marsh is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, indicated by his expensive clothes and valuable gold ring. He has dedicated his life to helping the poor. He is ill, therefore he, covered with a, he is covered with a blanket despite the fact that it's quite warm inside the room. Hmm. Am I interrupting? I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. He sounds very well. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble he level, seems I impressed. too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. I recognize your face. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries oh, over there, shaved. if you believe it. <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might oh, be he's interested in using the same job. trick as a Sherlock does. Job. May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he oh. foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. 1889. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes? But also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. Romantic? It doesn't sound very romantic to me. There's something Forgive up. Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you. But I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How mm -hmm. long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. It's, it's only influenza. influenza. I'll, I'll be probably better in a few us. days. I can feel it all. In that case, why are you taking such powerful painkillers? Excuse me. What do you mean? Mr. Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. Yeah, it's pretty uh, short term, isn't it? Stands out. It stands out indeed. Lord Marsh is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, indicated by expensive clo Did I already read this? Yeah, I already read this, didn't I? Look at this. A provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. Huh. Lord Marsh even helps hospitals. You know... It's it's all well. It's all all good cause and everything, but whenever a wealthy man in um, the past does something good, it usually isn't. Uh, yeah, you know. There's always something. Always. Last year, three orphans were put something up. College. Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. Ooh. It's pretty Thanks good. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. Wow. Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Ah, my dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. Lord Collins and Lord if Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. English malady. I'm not sure what that means. Hmm. 
Well, uh, to be honest, I already saw it. This, if there's a pile of papers on a table, you should look at it, Mr. Holmes. Dear Lord Mars, here is the list of selected particip participants for the special education program in October. It looks to be a very promising event. I'm looking forward to it. Patrick Tanner. I've never heard of this man. Oh. I've never heard of this man. Oh. Oh, wait. John Strobridge. I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. Yeah, there was. In the pub. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any idea as to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, if the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Hmm. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. Of course I stand is. firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. You should always get suspected by if if Sherlock Holmes visits you, he doesn't visit you because he likes to visit people. He visits you because he suspects something is going on. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor yes, people. Yes, of course he, he does. Despite my title, yes. I have to share my home with these bags full of food for the poor. Huh. I've never seen so many provisions for the poor, and certainly not in a lord's house. Yes, yeah, something is up. It appears that Lord Potatoes. Marsh spent a great deal of his money on aiding the poor. There we go. Humanitarian aid for an orphanage. Hmm. There needs to be something. Aid for the paupers of Lambeth Workhouse. It's extremely honourable to devote one's whole life to assisting the poor. Yeah, that, that is not tight. what is happening right here. There is something up. Bags full of food. Hmm. Locked. Wait a minute, these chances. It's closed. These chains is, is, is... How do you call it again? Ah, oh, I had it yesterday. It was on the tip of my tongue. Um, a sketch phrase. That was it. I'm intrigued by the special education program. Yes, of course you are, Watson. Mr. Watson. Is there something else that I missed? Hello? Something. Hello? There must be something that I missed. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Well, I just realized. Uh, we've got this thing going on as well. I completely forgot about it. So, um, there's a chance that I have to go back to Mr. Um, Mr. Lord Mars's house. Uh, let's combine some things, shall we? So, special education program and missing. What the hell is this? What was that? Are there consequences now? Uh. I don't like that. How, how do I? How do I? How do I? How do how do I get rid of this? Deselect. Okay. Uh, okay. Hello. Okay, I don't like uh, that this is happening right now. Are we destroying Sherlock Holmes's neurons or something? So, special education program. There we go. Uh, Tex, can you maybe go out of the way? Yes, thank you. 
The special job mentioned by George Hurst does not connect it with the special education program or George Hurst's special job and Lord Mars's special education program are somehow connected. Of course there's a connection. Come on now. This is not going to end up not having any connection whatsoever. So. This has nothing to do with anything. Okay, apparently not. I'm just going to try everything. So, apparently there's nothing that else that's going on. Exit. Are we there yet? We are there yet. Hello? Holmes, we need to help poor Tom. Yes, yeah. What do you think I was doing? Can we do my something else system. here? It's useful for my work. My archive. No. Alright. Um Hertz House. Let's see if we can find a clue there. Sometimes you just have to go back to places and you know you know what's weird? I bought this game on Steam. And the Steam page for this after I bought it require only has one review on it. That's the only thing that's on the on the page itself in my library. And it's actually a kind of a bad review. That's weird, isn't it? Does does Steam decide what's going on uh, in the library page or is it the company itself, the publisher? Hello. Mr. Holmes, do you have any news about my father? Tom, Tom, not so fast. I wanted to ask you if you remember your father mentioning anything about a special education program. Oh, okay. An education program? No, he only talked about a special job. What's this box, Tom? Oh, yeah. I just found it, Mr. Oh, Holmes. there we go. It was ever so well hidden. Progress. I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. I... I can imagine it will... Whoops, sorry. I can imagine it will. This oil can also be used on weapons. Oh. A ramrod to clean a rifle. I can see where this is going. You just feel press. Looks like a military badge. What does press mean? I know what just we mean, that means I am. But pressed. Pressed? I am pressed. Hmm. Tom, does your father own a rifle? A rifle? No. If he had, he would have shot at me. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shown it you. I need to find this rifle. I'm... I know a couple of words French. Don't know presto. Presto, but that's Italian. Hello. Are you going to give away some secrets? There we go. This scrap of cloth was used to oil a firearm. Hmm. Tom, does your father have any other property? No. Well, at least I don't think so. Alright. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil, and we'll find that rifle. Oh, are we going to be a dog again? I say again, because it happened in the previous game also. Oh, but then, oh, this is what I sometimes hate. I have to go back to my own place. Go through a loading screen. Get Toby. Go through another loading screen. And then we can finally start it. Uh, I won't bother you with it, though. I'm just going to edit it out. There we go. Search to and search. I'm a dog. I'm a duke. Bar. Can I open this door? I can because I have thumbs, of course. Well, it was not. It was not really a knob. So you, you know, you get a pass, dog. You get a pass. You get a pass. Follow the smell. 
follow the smell. There we go. Smell the smell. Smell the green line of oil. Wait a minute. This way. Woof woof. Yes, we need it. Uh, Oh, there we go. Tools. It's only a garden shed. Let's go on. Yes, the dog will understand this. Isn't it? Um, is everyone in this town using the same oil? Because I'm pretty sure a dog can smell the difference between two different kinds of oil, right? No. Nothing here. Apparently. There we go, there we go, there we go. This music. Woof woof. What? Yes. This is the place. This is the place. Yes, is this the place? Yes. Going down, going down. Did he own this? People use this cellar for storage. No. Oh. Nothing that could interest me. So this is like a, a garage box kind of thing. People just store everything that they own. In here. Interesting. Oh. I'm stuck on something. Oh. Ordinary storage. Ordinary storage. Old thing. Ah. Old things. Tom's photograph. Oh, Let's this, try to get inside. This had some. Uh, the first uh, chamber that actually had some. Uh, what, what is this? Use the correct lockpicks to lift the lock plate and create an un unobstructed path for the... Okay. Um. This is I, I think they could have made it a little bit harder, couldn't they? That was easy. Surprisingly easy. Hello. The Daily Mirror. News clippings on Lords in the education program. Why are they here? Hmm. Lord Mars in association with his friends Lord Harrington and Lord Collins is the co-founder of the special education program. In assisting the poor to build better lives and more certain futures, these three gentlemen surely help lift this level of our struggling society. Yes, it, it, they are trying to push that they are good guys here, so I don't trust it at all. I don't trust it for a single second. Dear Tom, if you are reading this letter, then it means that I'm dead. I'm so sorry that things had to end up this way, but I had no other choice, you have to know that. You're a very smart boy, and I'm so proud of you. I hope one day you will understand and you will forgive me. Son, I love you so much. Don't despair, try to be happy, for you will grow up to be a man someday, and sooner than you think. You won't be alone, me and your mom. We'll be looking over you from heaven. You're loving father. Well, I'm kind of sure he will be boned. If both his parents died and he's eight years old. Let's compare this list with the evidence that we found earlier. All right. This is the list of selected participants for October's special education program. Uh -huh. According to this poster, John Strobridge is missing. Let's compare them with people from Hearst documents. John Strogovich. Wait. I missed it already. John Strobridge. This man appears in both documents. Hello? Do I look, look, need to look further? Um, Patrick Tanner. 
they are all S. It seems. Where is she not stable? Yeah, look at that. Oh. William Thatcher and Thomas Kelly. Hmm. All the people in Marsh's document are marked and dated in George Hurst's files. Oh yeah, they had days with them, didn't they? I'm not going to read it. So, what's the date right now? Where's George Hurst? Quit. Uh huh. There's clearly something going on. Dear George, I do understand you and it is so sad. Same as you, I can't find a job, not even the smallest thing. My children have nothing to eat. When they try to find anything, the bosses just say that they don't want wounded people working for them. Our military service means nothing. Our country used us in war, but now it has abandoned us. Nobody cares. I can imagine um, that that yeah, that's going to be that was a big problem also in the late 1800s because there were the colonial times so they had war a lot a lot of war and the British Empire had like the biggest army at the time well one of the, one of the, the biggest anyway and a lot of people got wounded and people who got wounded healthcare didn't really assist exist back then so they well not healthcare they didn't get any support from the government got a medal by her royal majesty, Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, I, Frederick Russell Brunham, Major of the British Army, declare the country extends its gratitude to George Hurst, an honorable soldier of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, for his valiant military service. The British Army hereby awards him this distinguished conduct medal and retires him due to the injuries sustained while in duty. Uh, look at that. I said it. I said it. They only get a medal. Medals are nice, don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, support money is nicer. <laughs> this case must have been full of cartridges. Uh huh. There we go. Oh. There was something on the stand. Something on the stand. What's this? I was able to click something. Alright, that's the only thing that I need apparently. Ah. There we go. There was a rifle here. George Hurst took it with him. Yes, F means that you use your imagination of what would be there. And last game there was also what happened when. Basically, uh, you have to make some kind of. Uh, you know what happened, but you want to also know the sequence of. When things happened. B. There we go. Oh no. What's this? Ah. Farewell letter. Hunt special job. There we go. No return. George Hurst knew that he stood no chance of returning from his special job. Therefore he wrote a farewell letter to Tom. Or. George Hurst wrote a farewell letter. But he didn't give it to Tom. There's a chance that he is still alive. Uh, I'm going to say less chance, probably. I mean, it's still... It's basically 50-50 for me, it's just a feeling. I'm not going to think that they are going to just kill off both parents of the little 8-year-old boy. Or at least not so soon. Preparations. Special job. Violence. George Hurst's special job is undoubtedly associated with violence if he took his rival with him. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. There we go. All participants of the S group from the special education program could be missing. Yeah.
No, I don't like it. No. There we go. George Hurst was interested in a special education program, but nothing more. George Hurst collected information about the paupers and the lords involved in the special education program. Um, I gathered a lot of information, so I'm saying that something must have happened. Mr. Hurst knew. George Hurst knew about some of the people who had gone missing from the special education program. Yeah, that much is clear. So, we got the wound. I'm probably... I'm pretty sure it's not connected to anything. Yeah, look at that. No! I meant to do this. Oh. Sneak into Mars's house. We need to gain more information. See, there was something more going on. After all. Yeah, let's let's do that, shall we? I'm going to cut away from the tedious, the tedious, tedious loading screen. I hope they would have gotten rid of it. To be honest, I know that you can look at your information when you go, but oh, that's not the right button. But it takes just too long. It just takes. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's let's not edit this out. Let's entertain you with uh, some with the trivia. Like, did you know that jellyfish actually don't produce any jelly? Yeah, they are also not fish. So why the hell are they called jellyfish? Just just tell me that. Just tell me. I'm telling you one thing, the guy who discovered jellyfish clearly had no idea what actually what a fish actually is. Yes, very inclus in in You know what? I don't Rose, know the word for it. Here? What are I'm you hiding planning? It. A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. That's the only way of helping little Tom. You know what we call jellyfish in our country? We call them qual. Qual. It sounds more like a jellyfish, doesn't it? Then, well, okay, they look like jelly, but they are not jelly. They are also not. You know, I stop it. I I stop it. My tangent about jellyfish. There we go. The window is firmly shut. Yep. Uh huh. Oh no, the T the the very hard No, they want you to I think this was supposed to be harder, but this isn't hard at all. There are also no consequences I think if I took the wrong lockpick. The other lockpick in the um, minigame was to visit Lord much harder. Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Oh. There we go. Oh, you're so clumsy. Can you please not... I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Yeah, before he breaks any more pottery. Good job, Watson. Yeah, good job. What? All right. To this day, and by my estimation, the special education program has saved over 200 individuals from the gutter and elevated them to help form and support the critical foundation of our prosperous empire. This is largely thanks to the wisdom and foresight of Lord Marsh, who is a most progressive and wise politician. He has carried out a great deal of work in this field. Whilst ignoring the critics and any hindrance from his arrogant colleagues who are so set in a race. Of course. 
Dear Lord Mars, thanks to the special education program, my life has been changed completely. I didn't know how to thank you, so I picked you this flower. Thank you. What flower? I don't see a flower. Are we going to throw this away too? There we go. Dear Lord Collins, it is clear to me that we could learn a great many things about running the empire from those whom we trample on the foot. These same people whom we leave this destitute and starving in the shadows of our own cities at home or abroad. Well, this doesn't look uh, incriminating at all. This looks very normal. Uh, uh, wait, I wasn't done yet. I wasn't done yet. Apparently I was. Fingerprints. Ooh. Let's see how hard to crack this safe is. Ah. Doctor, it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit. Indeed. It sure was. Will you allow me to examine you? A second opinion, so that the great Lord Marge does not become the late Lord Marge. Wow. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, very well. Shall I retire to your office, Lord Marsh? No, please, Doctor. I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? Yes. I'll try my best. We will break his... Uh, Hello? Am I supposed to run away or something? Yes, apparently I'm supposed Mr. to run Holmes? away. What are you doing here? You have been caught. Oh. No. Will you break anything else? Yeah, I'll we know. Try my best. We, we know this. What's wrong? Break something. Uh, I have to find a hiding place. Hiding place, hiding place, hiding I found a hiding place, apparently. Oh, no. How does he not see me? How does he also not notice that the safe and that the painting is not in front of the safe anymore? I mean that will I will notice such a thing. Lord Marsh is a keen hunter. They seem to elaborate a lot that they are hunting. Are they are they hunting poor people or something? Because somebody has done that before already. Rotate the safe dial and locate the area of clear sound feedback to confirm the correct safe combination. Um. Sound different. Shh, music. Or am I going to the wrong way? There we go. There we go. Figaro, there we go. Money, 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 letter. November 7th. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Wow. Dear Lord Mars, on November the 7th, our meeting starts. Starts? Starts at Grunston's Oak. I have attached a map to this letter so that you may find the pl place easily. Lord Collins. I found the map. Oh, another letter. I missed it. I so admire all of these paupers. They seem to me such a breath of fresh air. Communicating with them is such a pleasure. And they are so smart 
Not like us. Perhaps this day we should have been lost and we the simple commoners. This letter seems very sarcastic. But this this is my interpretation. Mm-hmm. Yes. I can hide here. Okay. It's good to know. Are we going to look at the guns? Maybe this. Oh look, they've got a lot of. Uh, they've got a deer hat and a bear hat. Is it a hawk? Or is it an eagle? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I'd suggest that your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza. Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, there's oh, blood on it. He's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> Quick time event. My Such lord, action. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You are going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. It is fair wise. I though. value your opinion, but misery never rests, and I am needed. He's well, so do poetic. Please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis, Doctor Fisher. Thank you, Doctor Watson. Farewell. How do you become a lord anyway? I mean, it was decided a long time ago, and now. If you're part of the bloodline, then you are a lord. Is that the uh, gist of it? Let's uh, open the deduction. Do we have some new clues? Lord Mars has many hunting trophies in his office. Yeah. Lord Mars and his friends are skillful and experienced hunters. You see, this is going to play in. Invitation. And wounds. Nah, I didn't think so. Why? Continue. Hello? What are you doing, Watson? Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. Ah. Uh, so maybe my also intuition Lord... tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. Mm-hmm. So what are we going to do about it? Let's study it more closely. All right. Sputum with tiny drops of blood. Uh -huh. mm. Saliva. I can take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Mm-hmm. I know. Take a sample, take a sample, and put it on the microscope. Let us apply chemicals to color the sample. Oh yes, of course. We do this uh, quite a lot if we need to look at tissue or at um, bacteria. So, my guess is... This is the pipette. This thing. There are a lot of coloring tests. I myself have practiced a couple of coloring tests. Um, but then uh, more for organs. There are different color tests for every organ. Because um, every cell of every organ is different. And interact with uh, chemicals differently. Usually we uh, use some kind of um, colorful salt. Now, let's examine the colored sample under the microscope. Uh, salt, of course, diluted with some kind of organic solvent. Oh, I imagine that course or that training. Oh, it took so long to prepare for it because you have to write down every single step of how you are supposed to color it and the color steps have to take um, a precise amount of time and there was around 50 minutes for every coloring step and there were like five different coloring steps examine the stain yeah this, this problem bacterium 
It appears that Lord Marsh is seriously ill. Yes, you can see see it from there. Holmes, this is no yes. longer a laughing matter. Oh, it no. is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, tuberculosis. Do. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. How do you get tuberculosis but anyway? Why? why indeed, Watson? Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? I need to look so How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. I'm going and to remember look it up. that we have women at home. Excuse me, that's a little bit sexist, but uh, tuberculosis. Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. Yeah, I'll I was just for that it was an infection disease by a bacteria, but much more I don't know about it. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. It's Dracula. Yes, from it's Stoker. forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. Censorship. I'm pretty sure Dracula is not any uh, longer censored from school books. Um, well, then again, there are not many books cans or uh, not allowed anymore to be sold in my country and many countries uh, in Europe. I think Mein Kampf is still illegal, but that's about it. And we've got, of course, our old books uh, of the dead that someone before, uh, somewhere in um, BC, has written. Oh, that disease. All right. Yeah, I know about it. I don't think many people die of it um, in this day and age. Am I supposed to look something up or? I'm a little bit at a loss of where I'm supposed to go now. I can't wait to tell all my friends about this. Wow. Oh yes I have to look something up. Examine wolf check. Oh, wait a minute, that was the, the medal that we found. Um, probably, probably, um, I think I saw something, yeah, marks and symbols, or badges and medals. There we go. A wolf jack is half wolf and half jackrabbit. It was used by the Lovett scouts as a self-descriptive nickname. The Lovett Scouts formerly became the British Army's first marksman unit. Ah, so pressed means wolfjack. So that's the reason why I don't know the word. Probably. No, wait. Am I supposed to know this word? Oh no, I, I will feel embarrassed if it's not... If it's a very simple word. That it... Oh no. Grunston's Oak is pinpointed on the map that was attached to Lord Marsh's invitation. So... Grunston's Oak, that's a place, right? That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. That's no, this is I going need. to take a while. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. No, 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 no. not the one I need. Ew. So, uh, apparently I had to look at botany because Grunson's Oak is literally an oak. Well then, Grunson's Oak is a strange and mysterious tree that grows in Epping Forest. The origin of its name is unconfirmed, although there are many legends and fables connected with it. Some people say that over centuries, witches performed their ceremonies near this tree, and these rites have assured that whoever may touch the trunk of Crunza's oak will be cursed for all time. Of course. Cronston's oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Mm-hmm. 
Alright. So let's now go do there. Um, let's not go there. Apparently I still don't know where I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Alright. Thank you for let's giving me that clue. Let's try to the hand-drawn map. Uh, Strawberry Hill. Look at that. So, this place? No. No. Oh, there's Grunza's Oak. Here it is. Drat. I'll need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on at the forest. Let's go. So. Father, that boy Wiggins, does he come here very often? He helps Excuse occasionally me? in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him? Father. He's so offended. Back at school, there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. It would be so romantic. You know, I don't know how to feel about this uh, Sherlock's daughter's um, character model. You see, see, her face looks older than she is. Uh, well, I don't know. There's something with her face that makes her weird. Shocked, complicity, reasonable, or lost? Uh, complicity. Oh, Kate, I know what you're like. You'll terrify him. He won't dare to come back here again. Is that what you think? <laughs> I love it. Excuse me? Oh, Kate. <sighs> I'll leave you alone now. Oh, another clue. Map. Love it, Scout. Invitation. George Hurst knew about the meeting between Lord Mars and his companions that took place in Epping Forest. Alright. That leaves these two. Really, Lovat. George Hurst had belonged to the Lovat Scouts Marksman Unit. Which leads to this. Go to Epping Forest. All right. Let's go to Epping Forest then. There we go. Oh, we are not going in the chariot. In the chariot. Is it called a chariot? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, and there we go. To the present day. He changed attire. <laughs> he changed attire when um, having uh, the little flesh pick. Oh no, he has been shot. Hiding behind the rock. Let's see how Leaf cover. Leaf cover. Oh no, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? No, cover, 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 cover. cover. Oh. All right. Yeah. Cover. I'm being shot at by someone. You won't get far. Uh, I hope I get far. Cover, 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 cover. What? I didn't know they had laser sightings in 1890. I didn't know th that they were also X-ray visions that can go through. Oh wait, uh, boulder, boulder. That that way, that way. Uh, yeah, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Uh. <laughs> Who in their right minds, by the way, would go through the thorny bushes? Who is this guy anyway who is shooting me? Or who is trying to shoot me? Help. Help. Oh no, he's getting so close. Oh. 
I didn't saw that thing. Yeah. Come on. You can do it, Sherlock. You can do it. You can do it. Run. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Leave. He's getting too close for comfort. Oh. Oh. You, you know, man, you're getting awfully close. Um, how about you give me a chance? Come on. I lost so much uh, momentum. I'm trying to... Uh, rare bushes, shady parts, blocked by tree, de decent. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even know that we were going to have a, uh, Where is it? a... A chase for our lives. Excuse me? He was poor. He was poor. This man was killed recently. The body is still warm. Yes, let's analyze that while we're running for our life. Find him. Oh shit, he found me again. Oh. Oh. Cover, cover, please. please. Why? You know man, live and let live, maybe. How, how about that? How about them apples? What, what do you gain by this? What do... No, no. Please. Where am I supposed to go? That way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Oh. Yeah, and where now? Okay, that way, that way. Swell, smell of the swamp, matted weeds, rock slide, and big stone. Uh, smell of the swamp. There we go, there we go. Take off, take off. Don't call me a rat, you... You... You know... I like to call this the swamp of despair. He wants to call this the swamp of despair. Alright. Whatever you... Oh! Um, T? Okay, yeah, yeah, got it, got it. So, we cover, we press T, we look what part we are supposed to take. Uh, try not to get shot in the meantime. Cover, 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 cover. Um, D, D, okay, that way, that way. We, we are almost there, we are almost there, come on. Well, I say we are almost there, but I can't actually see where I'm supposed to go. Uh, that way. Around the cards. Around the cards. No, 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 no. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We can. Okay. It's getting a little bit less intense right now. Oh, no. Okay. I've got the second chance. I've got the second chance. Ah. T. Um. What way am I supposed to go? That, that way. No, no. I just drowned. All right, this is going to take a while. I did it. I did it. There we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Why would you do this to me? What have I ever done to you? It doesn't sound like anyone I've encountered uh, this far. Come on. Oh, no. Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh. Oh good, I thought I was going to need to do another balancing game. Some balancing mini game. So. Oh. My god, it's Lord Harrington's body. Lord Harrington? He was killed by a shot to the forehead. Shot to the forehead. My health is deteriorating. I need to dress my wound. Let's dress my wound. Sorry. I will dress it up very nicely. Like the cute little wound it is. Or am I understanding the word dress in this situation wrong? Probably yes. There we go. Come, get in. Let's... Mm -hmm. The Quartermain Club. This must be Lord Marsh's cabin. Oh, really now? This will help to dress my wound. Mm -hmm. Let's dress my wound. Someone's coming, I better hide. <laughs> Closet. Closet. There we go. Breathe, Lord Marsh. It's almost over. Who are you? George Erst from the First Lovett Scouts, here to deliver justice. <laughs> An old soldier. How ironic. Did we refuse you on our special education program? It's true, I was refused. An old wounded soldier is useless to you. But he can still be dangerous. Oh. We hunted a lot in these woods, but I didn't expect to become the prey. I have lived a grand life without any limits set by others. I will die a happy man, so you won't see me begging you festering wretch. Excuse me. Prepare to meet your maker. Oh, I first have to deduct what's uh, actually... What? Plus... Impingement. George Hurst intends to kill Lord Marsh. Revenge. George Hurst intends to kill Lord Marsh the scapegoat for Hurst's own failures or George Hurst is going to take the law into his own hands concerning Lord Marsh. Uh, probably revenge. Pretty sure it is revenge. Lord Harrington's body. Papa's body. Uh huh. Mr. Hurst hunts George Hurst hunts down Papa's and Lord's in the forest. Or Lord Marsh and his companions hunt down Papa's in the forest. Well, what do you think yourself? I mean, who... I mean, it should be obvious, no? I mean, the Lords... themselves organized the whole organization with all the Papas, and the Papas are missing. So what, what do you think? What do you think? Of course, Lord Marsh hunts down people. Condemn Lord Marsh. Lord Marsh is a cold-blooded killer who, under the guise of charity, hunted down poor people. Put Lord Marsh in jail, where he will eventually die from his tuberculosis. Or, Lord Marsh has no likelihood of recovering from his illness. Allow him to die peacefully at home while ruminating on his crimes. Eh. Yeah, let's condemn him. Let's, let's get some justice, shall we? Some... Sweet, sweet. George, lower your rifle, please, for Tom's sake. Holmes! My, my. An almost worthy opponent. He sounds evil. Tom? My Tom? If you've endangered my lad in any way, you will pay dearly. I assure you that Tom is safe in London with a well trusted friend. And now it's time to end this. By all means. George, listen to me. 
If you're seeking an apt punishment and vengeance, killing Marsh will give him exactly what he wants. He would die knowing that he had fulfilled his life through his absolute control of it. But if you allow Marsh to live and be arrested, he will suffer a punishment far greater than your eyes. Yeah, and this probably true, yeah. chain will be the debilitating tuberculosis. It will drag him painfully and slowly to his demise behind bars. Yeah, You're there we go. Mad. You're both mad. Let's go and find Tom. Not just yet. See, Lord Marsh, you will die here, although not by the gun. You'll die slowly. Don't do this, George. Detective, take a look here. Did you do? I'm not going to comment on this wound. Oh, there this we go. Is how you became sick, Lord Marsh. I can imagine Heading that the death will bring a lot of bacteria. Tuberculosis was what infected you. Poetic justice. Holmes, you cannot fully understand why we helped so many and sacrificed a few. But don't let me die like this. Just kill me now. I don't get how this helped the po Oh, 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 uh, uh, this guy. I understand your view, Mr. Hurst. I really do, but I couldn't allow you to continue. Lord Mars is a cold-blooded killer who does not value the lives of the poor people. He believes that he has the right to choose who will live and who will die. He deserves his fate. Alright, 80% of people made the same moral choice. This is the same thing that happened uh, in the last game. You can see how many percent of the people shared your choice. So I guess the there were four options. Usually there are two options per um, possible perpetrator. Which means that in this case there are two. Probably Lord Mars and Mr. What was his name again? Wait, right? Yeah. So the other 20% went to people who chose to either condemn Wade or wanted to let Mr. Mars go. Which I can imagine are not too many. If I'm going to be honest. Alright, they accept my decision. Warning, you are about to finish the case. The safe files for this case will be removed. Yes, I will I will agree. And oh it automatically is going to start the second case. I hope it's saved beforehand so I can start fresh for the next case. Continue. Yeah. And let's do the intro. Excuse me. Um, hello? Yes! Well done, Watson! Holmes, you're playing bowls? Indoors? Not just any old bowls, Watson. Oh, Not yes. Bowling. Seriously? With your injury? Mrs. Hudson is going to murder you. Hmm. Well, that's it for now. Time to go. Would you care to join me? Why was she murdering us? It's, it's our pottery, isn't it? Where are we going, it? Holmes? Or I'm participating in the final stage of the annual tournament held by the London Archaeological Institute's Bowling Club. It's an official invitation. The London Archaeology suitably and then we can Bowling leave. Club. Alright, how many different uh, London Archaeology Clubs are there anyway? Well then, um, I think we can safely finish this now. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode, please consider to leave a like or subscribe to my channel, Your Own Soul Empire. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye everyone.